wonderful people i'm back on your screens with another video so many a times i get asked by my friends back home in ghana um do you get our food to eat do you have african shops there what do they sell like they are just curious to know so today i'm going to one of the famous african shops in the state i live in and i will be going with you guys you are coming with me so i will be showing you um some of the items they sell in the african shops and when i come home i will also try and go through the items that i got with their prizes guys african shop items huh, is expensive like whenever i buy stuff <laughs> I convert like straight away into Ghana currency and I'm like, God, these people are killing us. But uh, there is nothing we can do. I mean, <laughs> we are here, so we have to stick by it anyways. So um, stay can stay with me and let's make this fun. Okay, I will see you when I get home and I'll go through the items I got with you. Okay. All right, stick with me. <laughs> I just got home and I decided that it wouldn't be fair if I don't show you the things I got, right? So I will be going through all the items I got from the African shop. Okay, so with this one is the smoked hen ring. Um, in um, Ghanaian language, we say amani, the smoked one. Yeah, so you see that? And I got my two favorite friends. No, I think I got three. Yeah. I got three. Kobe. Guys, I love this. If you know, you know. <laughs> All right. So I got three of that. And guys, it's expensive. Like, if you convert the currency to Ghana currency, you're like, oh my goodness, these people are killing us. But it is what it is. What it, it is. It, it is. Uh. I don't take so I don't take madness. I don't take far. I don't take so far, minutes. It is what it is. It is what it is. You know, there is nothing we can do. <laughs> All right. And I got here woo, another favorite, Momoni. Guys, this was $5.94. Momoni. I get um, Unga. I get Unga cubes. And this was uh, okay. This was nine dollars, guys. Pretty expensive. Um, I got Ghana needle. I love this, and that was eight dollars. I got some ripe plantain. Um, I think I got like five pieces. Yeah, some ripe plantain. Um, I got some boneless beef. Okay, and this was um nine ninety five. Boneless beef. Um, I got some snails and what? Um, Fonties. I forgot how Fonties say it. Um, Nwaba. Yeah, we the people from Takwa we say Nwaba, but I think the Ashantis uh, or the tree they say Nwa. Yeah, if I'm right. And this is snails, and that is pretty expensive, guys. Seventeen dollars and seventeen cents. Huh, these African markets are killing us here. I better go to my home. And I got some fresh green peppers. I have forgotten the price. I would have to check the receipts and I'll put it 
down below okay i'll put it somewhere in the video so you know um, because yeah. usually they weigh that and they'll give you the price and i got some house cocoa to go with my ghana buff fruit okay and this was six dollars um i got almighty palm oil guys i don't know um whichever states or yeah especially those um here in um abroad like in the u.s the uk like wherever you are watching me from except from ghana because i know there you get a lot of good um palm oil but i have tried a lot of them and it wasn't really tasting so well but with this particular brand it's lion's brand um palm oil guys i got this from um this particular african market like he literally has everything in the shop and he said he gets them from um sierra leone they make the best those palm oil guys you can never go wrong so if um i mean you are in abroad or whichever where um whichever state or country that you are in except for ghana or maybe <laughs> sierra leone where they um import this from please try and get this lion's brand palm oil i'm not advertising though but it's good you know okay i got some goya adobo and that was um three dollars guys i got also dawa dawa hey <laughs> guys i will be making some teasers and i will show you how i make it that is why i got dawa dawa okay and this was six dollars and two cents um i got some cassava fufu um we call it coconut yeah coconut so i got it um five five dollars twenty cents i'm trying to see if i can get the number of cups maybe one cup two cups but it's not written here so it's just five dollars um twenty cents i also got um jute leaves um that is ayoyo i i was trying to get the fresh one so i asked um the shop owner and he said like because we are out of the summer season there is no fresh ayoyo coming so i got the frozen one and this is equally good they had actually two i wish i could have taken a picture no it should be somewhere in the video i had taken some um the some jute leaves earlier and when i got to the counter he told me to go back and take this one yeah because this comes with is it crane usually crane crane chop or whatever he said it comes with a particular um ingredients i have forgotten and he rec he recommended this you know so i went ahead and took this one i think i got like four um and i have some corn flour it will go with the coconut tea to make the teaser stay tuned okay all right all right oh my god yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry guys i am so excited i have always wanted this you know what <laughs> anytime i go to the african shop to get this and i check the price it makes me pissed off like my auntie sells all these items in ghana where i can get it for free <laughs> i get so cheap sometimes guys forgive me but I don't even remember the price but i'll check the receipt and link it somewhere in the video i finally got it like <laughs> i just had to get it you know so i got it we used um to make the like when the banku is done now the abo now the abo yeah so that is what we use it for is it color calabash that there is one for cocoa and this one i think it's all calabash if i'm right yeah I think so and i got here beans i love the goya brand it has some kind of taste at the end of it like when you're eating it has some milky taste maybe you haven't taken notice of it but i love i love this black eye beans the goya brand i don't know i just love it and this was two dollars and i think i got like four or five yeah these are the rest of the beans and um, these are some of the jute leaves that I also got. And guys, whenever I go to the African shop, 
I do not forget my sweeties. So I get my sweet plantain chips. I make it sometimes, but whenever I go, I don't know. It's been like um, a ritual. Like whenever I go to the African shop, I have to pick some African cookie. And I do go with Overton. I love it. Sometimes I take shortbread or digestive, but I love this one too. Yeah, this and a plantain. Okay, guys. So on this note, this is the end of my African market grocery haul. Okay, hope you enjoyed it and stick by for other videos, guys. I'm going to try and bring you some um, cooking recipes and all that and all that and all that. Okay, so if you have watched till this and thank you so much, do not forget to like, comment, and share this video to a family member to also watch it. Also, subscribe and when you do, turn on the bell notification so when I upload every video or any video you will be first to know it so on this note i will see you in the next video okay <laughs> bye guys i don't know what i'm